Hey, what's up, guys? So, I am definitely not a jewelry maker. I'm not very good at it. Um, well, I really haven't attempted much, but what I wanted to do was show you how you can save money. Um, so, what I wanted to do was like a family memorial necklace and charm bracelet from my mother, um, who recently passed away, and put some little charms of family members' uh, pictures onto a necklace and a bracelet. I started one already, and uh, basically... These type of bracelets sell for a lot of money, like $150 to $300, um, especially if you get sterling silver or gold ones, they're even more money. Um, so what I did was I went on Amazon and I got um, one of these type of stainless steel toggle necklaces and it comes with a little charm already, a puffed heart charm hanging from it already. And what I want to do is um, I want to hang these little charms on the necklace so I want to have some charms going down the necklace with the puffed heart in the center and I wanted to save myself some money so here's what I did so if you want to do something like this on your own instead of paying like hundred and fifty dollars for a necklace to two hundred dollars um, what I did was on believe it or not on Walmart which I by the way I hate Walmart uh, <laughs> but they come in handy sometimes so Walmart has this thing called Walmart photos and let me try to pick one of these little charms up to show you what I mean. And so here you go. Here's a picture of me and my mother. And they sell these for, and they're, by the way, they're sterling plated. I don't know if you can see that. It's a sterling silver plated. And for $11.17, they sell little charms like these. And they're sterling plated. Um, so what I want to do is now, I don't know how I'm going to get the charms onto the links of this bracelet. So Amazon... Uh, for like under 10 bucks, you can get different connectors. So for example, these are jump rings and uh, they're like little circles. You have to open them up with pliers, place the charm on it and then place the charm over the link. They also have like keychain type of connectors that are like little circles. It's like putting keys on a key ring and then you can put it over the links of the bracelet. I don't know which ones I'm going to use. I have no idea, um, but it did come. Did I say idea? Oh, God, it's so New York. <laughs> My accent embarrasses me sometimes. It came like one of them came with this uh, little jump ring pliers, um, and then you can pry open the especially the double rings that are like keychains. You can pry it to try to like get it over the link of the bracelet. Um, that was kind of them to throw that in there. Um, I also got a little another little charm bracelet. It's made out of stainless steel. It has a puffed heart and it matches this one. And the necklace and the bracelet was only like $12 on Amazon. And the stainless steel will not turn color, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make a beautiful memorial necklace for my mother right now. And let's see how it comes out. Stay tuned. All right, so I figured some of you might want to know where to place the charms. I forgot to mention, if you're doing this yourself. So you have to figure out um, where the middle of the necklace is going to be. So the middle of the necklace is going to be where the puffed heart is. But you need to uh, place your charm in enough width, you know, width away from, say, the puffed heart in the center. So you have to figure out how many lengths um, past the puffed heart you want to put your charm on. And then you do that going around the bracelet. So you count lengths. So, for example, we got one, two, three, four, five six so i'll probably put it on the sixth link so you know they don't bang into each other and then again if i'm going to put another charm in that way it's going to be six links past the center um now i got something also called helping hands i'm i'm 47 years old but i think i'm going blind i used to have 20 20 vision and now i can't see shit so this you can look through this and see what the hell you're doing like if you have your pliers and your little ring and i got this little baby for like $9.88 on Amazon. What's really great about it is you can adjust the magnifying glass to go 360 in all directions. So you can turn it, um, you can put it lower, you could put it higher, you could put it upright. Um, they come with little things called helping hands and they're like little alligator clips. So I can actually hang the bracelet from the alligator clip um, and then adjust the magnifying glass so I can look through it to see the necklace that's being held up by the helping hands. Um, I don't know how well this is going to go right now. But for example, you can really see it much better than, say, with the naked eye. So also another thing, I got um, 
these like years ago, these really cheap little jewelry pliers. Um, it came in a case all zippered up with loads of loads of accessories like little tweezers and all sorts of things um, for, un again, under 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's a good investment. You always need little pliers anyway around the house for like little jobs. And uh, it even has like little wire cutters. Um, it has all sorts of pliers. I'll show you. Like uh, we have wire cutters here. Um, then we have, um, this is so, it comes with a little rubber thing on it so you don't damage the jewelry if you're doing something like prying links apart. Um, then we have um, the, these type of pliers with little thin little, um, I don't know what the hell you call each of these little things, prongs maybe? Yeah, thinner prongs. And yeah, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, the pain in the ass part is to open up these links. Um, you need two pairs of pliers to do that, to open up the links, to get them open, to get them over the necklace. And uh, it looks easy. I've seen other people do it on YouTube. They do it in two seconds. They get the charm right on. But um, when you have... Uh, Sausage fingers like me, and you have bad eyesight, um, the little rings are going to be uh, quite um, an effort to get them open, get the charm on the link, and they get them locked and closed in place. All right, stay tuned. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to try to show you how to get the little ring open to get it over. So you pick your ring, you take two pliers, and you twist it. It's very hard to show. You twist it. Hold on one second. You twist it like this. Oops. So you pull it one way, the, the plier on the left towards you, and the plier on the right outwards. And so now you have that. And then um, you place the charm over it, and then place it over your link, and then you pull it towards you like that, and then move it together, and then you give it a squeeze, and then it secures. All right, so I'm going to show you the finished job. Hold on one second. All right, so here's the uh, finished charm bracelet. It's very hard. I have a lot of glares going on right now. So um, I put a picture of my mother's wedding picture at my father, picture of her when she was a teenager. Then I have my mother here at my wedding, and then my grandmother. And uh, now I have my, actually, it's not a bracelet. I keep calling it a bracelet, a necklace. And then um, I'm just going to do the same for the uh, little charm bracelet. Um, again, I showed you how to, uh, you just choose a ring that's big enough to dangle your charm at the length, you know, that you want it to hang down. You uh, go to the center of the necklace. You choose the exact amount of links away from each other. Um, and I showed you how to do the ring. And then, um, now, it's, a, it's not to say that these charms may not fall off they may catch on something and fall off but they were only eleven dollars and seventeen cents at walmart so it won't be that you know horrible if i lose any of these i can make copies of these at any time and there you go and you can do that with a charm bracelet as well um again you can get these on amazon it comes in a pair for like 12 bucks stainless steel and then you have uh your little memorial necklace and bracelet that you can do um, at home and save yourself a big amount of money. Um, I mean, $150 for one of these type of stainless steel necklaces with the photo charms versus getting a couple of little things for under $10. The charms are 11 bucks. The necklace for like $12 um, and the that comes with the bracelet. And there you go. You have a beautiful memorial necklace for a loved one. All right, guys. So long and I'll see you all soon. Okay, so really fast, I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's all done, when I'm wearing it. So here you go. And I ended up choosing five links in between the center. So if you want to do that, if you would get the same necklace, um, that's what you can do. Now, um, I'll put links in the description below for um, some of the items. Now, the problem is, is that the prices do go up and down on Amazon and change. So the prices I told you I paid for it may change when you click on the link. I notice every single day Amazon prices go up and down. But uh, here's an example of what you can do at home. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, thanks for watching.